The name's Miles, Daniel Miles, and this is a donkey of Carol, starring Kate Blanchett and Rooney Mara. Apologies for the voice, ladies and gentlemen, I have in fact got a cold. Alright, so let's break it down. In 1950s New York, two women fall in love with each other, and this film deals with them falling in love as well as the consequences of their relationship. I say film. I refuse actually to use the word film again in this review, as this is in fact a work of art. This film is exquisitely beautiful to look at. It's got a kind of soft focus thing to it. Kate Blanchett looks incredible. She is clearly going for an Oscar. Rooney Mara's really good. She's atoning for Pan. She got two standout performances. It looks gorgeous. It sounds amazing. The period detail is down. And I check my watch so often, I wasn't sure if the film was really bad or my watch was in fact broken. How can I put this? This art is glacially slow. According to IMDb, it runs for 118 minutes, and I could have sworn it was about 16 hours. It genuinely doesn't seem like anything happens. Everything is so poised, so precise. The dialogue appears to have been written by not only Christopher Nolan, but somebody teamed him up with the person who wrote The Lobster and combined them together to make romantic dialogue. This is not how people talk. If I cannot empathise with the characters in your romantic drama, and that is all your art has, then I'm not going to get involved in this art. Mara and Blanchett have no chemistry. There's no spark between them. They're both clearly trying to create chemistry. If there's no spark between these two characters, then the whole film falls apart and there's no spark. Even when we are clearly supposed to feel something for these characters, something goes wrong, something happens, there's a revelation, and we are supposed to feel something for these characters, I couldn't feel anything at all. It was like there was a glass wall between myself and the world of the film. And for a film dealing with people being gay in the 50s, I was expecting something a little more about this discovery of being gay at a time when being gay wasn't, if it, was, it wasn't taboo, it was illegal. And the consequences and the lives that get destroyed as a result of this discovery and this realisation, this attempt to be happy. But it wasn't. It was just this art house glossy film that takes an hour to be a road trip film. This film got a standing ovation at Cannes and yeah, I understand why. This film was designed genetically down on a cellular molecular level to win awards. It's got everything that the Academy loves, that film house critics love. But for me... I was bored, my girlfriend was bored, the audience was bored, everyone was shifting and fidgeting and when your film, a film that has clearly had so much time put into it, is boring, that is the ultimate insult. It's adapted from a book and you can tell that it's adapted from a book as clearly a lot of dialogue that needed to be put in wasn't. They put in a voiceover towards the end of the film, but I would really have loved some during the film. A diary, letters to each other, something with which that I could use to get into the characters' heads. Again, there's this glass wall between us and them. Carol is a frustrating, disappointing, slow-moving wreck of a film. It's beautiful to look at, it's won some awards, it's going to win more, but for me, this film is poor. I'm Daniel, this is a donkey. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe.